In this short film, we're going to look at um, hashes again. Okay, let's see what we've got. We've got a variable called demo line, and the value of the uh, variable demo line is this string. Okay, so if I if I run this, actually, I'm just going to I'm just going to fire this up. Oops. Right, if I take this line. And I post it on here. If I put it on the command line, then if I now print demo line, what do you think is going to happen? Yep, it spits out the string. There it is. Okay, now here we have a hash. So we've created a hash called stuff, and at the moment it's empty. And uh, then we're going to define the um, labels inside the hash. So I've got um, code, name, home, height, gender, weight. And then here's the important bit. I'm going to use the split method, uh, looking for the semicolon to take demo line and shove it into stuff using these headings. And once I've done that, I will be able to access the um, access the stuff hash and pick out the bits I want. Um, so as we saw before, currently, if I oops, if I run this, it will pick out the code and the name. Let's try and add another line in here. Oh, no, your, let's go, your height is, and, and then I'm going to use a plus to concatenate, concatenate means to stick on, and I'm going to use the hash name, and the uh, square brackets, and then what I'm looking for, okay, close the speech marks, close the square brackets, close the print brackets, fingers crossed, the colour the syntax highlighting looks good. Let's see if this works. Oops, wrong button. Eek. There. Okay, there you go. The height has worked now as well. Now remember, all of this is just a label. So, for example, in here, if I typed in gender, I'll just improve the indenting there. If I run this now, height, the word height here is just a label. This is the important bit that links in with this bit. Okay, um, and let's let's try one other thing. A common mistake is to get the split wrong. So if I run this now, it's going to have an error. Eek! Let's see what that error is. Need more than one value to unpack. It says I can't find any commas, so I don't know what you're talking about. Looking for these things, <coughs> it, they, it just sees it as one text string. So if I replace these semicolons now with the defined comma, oops, that's a full stop, nearly got that wrong. Oops. And I run it. It's working again, having replaced the split um, parameter to commas rather than semicolons.